Look, 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 look what I just seen. Look, no, look, you have to see this. Barnacles, fossil barnacles. Wonderful. Charles Darwin would have loved it. And then you've got various sorts of things like terrans, or clam shells sticking out here. And there's one that's actually been drilled by a winkle. There, look. What did you call the thing? Well, I think it's a tarotello or something like that. It's a gastropod spiral shell thing. Nice. See, over there, look, can you see it start? You've got the prevention clay at the bottom of the cliff, and then it's sloping down past this spoil, and then it's coming up here. What we've got is an enormous it's channel. scoured out in, in, at different times. It's lovely, yeah, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, been etched by the wind. The wind has taken out the, uh, the softer sand, leaving the, the, the clay layers in, in relief. You can also pick up the cross bedding in it as well. That's wonderful. I might take a picture of that. So it starts up here. Yeah, exactly. And then it comes all the way and down it here. Com comes all the way, yeah. I mean, it's, the channel, is, if the stuff on top is glacial sands, yeah. then what's happened is the, the underlying, what we've got here is a, is a sort of a, a, a glacial scour, a channel that's been scoured out by glacial meltwater, and then it's been filled in with these fine grain sediments, which are presumably um, quieter water deposition. Um, and they've also slumped. The fact that they're dipping suggests that they've slumped um, and been deformed as they settle into this basin, which is essentially a, a, a scour channel in the um, so well the sort of local bedrock, which is this um, prevention yeah. sand, which is probably about two million years old. And then these the, these clay beds here um, on top, the the fill yeah. of the channel would be perhaps 450,000. So we've got a big. Uh, time lag between the t time gap between the two of them, and then at the very top you can see there's more till. Um, the till being the sort of sub glacial deposit, and this is outwash stuff. I yeah, suspect. it's actually the, the, the strata are more in a, a horizontal line, further at the up. Top, and the, yeah, yeah. And at the but bottom, is, it's got this big it, sweeping curve coming down, yeah. and then it comes and back, it comes up, back the up, up, up the other, the other side. Up the other. A layer of shale or something, isn't it? No, 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 no. It's that, well, sand and gravel. Which sand and is gravel. What interests me is, it's it's very similar to what we're standing on in terms of the beach. I mean, that's a beach deposit, probably, or or glacial. It's, uh, it's awesome. essentially sedimentary characteristics are very, very similar to those from the beach today. Basically, water, water and uh, sand and that's gravel layer at the top there. So that's iron and manganese. Yeah, uh, uh, <coughs> iron and manganese. Washed down from a higher level and then deposited there in the ground. Like a, a, a classic, um, classic bit of modern um, estuarine mud with masses of, of um, burrows from, um, um, you know, ragworms and, um, and razor shells and uh, other creatures, um, other invertebrates, possibly even some shrimps or something like that. It's suddenly, like somebody opened the door and there's this. A waft of warm wind probably came yeah. off the wood or something like that. Just came blowing down. Yeah, so somebody had opened the door. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Nature produces all this beauty so casually, and then uh, and then just leaves it where we can find it. But you know, it's just a project of chance and natural processes, and uh, it's just it's just quite exquisite, really. It's really lovely. Yeah, very good. It's flint, but it's uh, a sort of chalcedonized flint, and uh, it's been um, stained in various ways. But uh, I don't know. That's what makes like coming out onto the beach so interesting. Remember that bit in the beginning of um, uh, that film by um, the last film that Tarkovsky ever did, with the man going down to the beach and pouring water onto a dead tree as, with his little grandson. Ikebana, he says to his grandson. Isn't that remarkable? What a thing. Yeah, it's I like know, a it's... kind of promontory on the... Um...
going to be battered into an interesting shape before long. It's not substantial enough to survive a huge battery. No, no, it isn't. It isn't. It will end up rolling over like all the others. But she, I think she's going to have to come here and spend a day drawing or two. Yeah, yeah, a day of warmth. And then when you get to the end, draw back and see what happens. 